All right, Shalom Rastafari. This will be part three. Just on the cross, explaining the the two activities of the cross. We could say like the inner and the outer activity. Let's continue here in First Corinthians chapter eleven, where we left off, verse twenty six. For as oft as ye eat this bread, the lamb's bread, and drink this cup, and drink of the chalice, my Rastafari brothers. He says, ye do shew, we do show Adonai's death till he come. Now, Christ in his kingly character has come, so that same, that same order now both testifies to the Lamb of God, the Son, and he who has the Son as the Father, and to the Father, to the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, to Abba Kedus. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread, the lamb's bread, and drink this cup and drink the chalice of Adonai unworthily. Now, that's a key word right there, unworthily. Why does it say unworthily? Now, unworthily, in an unworthy manner, because one's mind is caught up on mindlessness. You know, and true, sometimes what mind of my might bun because a really troublous time and some difficulty, so him just would, would, would take a sup of the chalice. You understand? But he might take a sup of the chalice with malice. Mm -hmm. That we must avoid, brothers and sisters, at all costs. You overs? And this is why the word speaks to us in such manner. When it speaks to us of Yeshua, right, who is our Passover, you understand? He has been sacrificed for I and I, our Passover. So this goes beyond I and I. Recognize it. As I said, discipleship, count the course. First Corinthians chapter 5, right, verse 7 it says, Purge out therefore the old leaven, all the old stuff that puff, puffs ones up, their own works, their own righteousness or self-righteousness or ego, she-go, heathen and sheet in righteousness, that ye, that I and I, may be a new lump, a new creation in Rastafari, as ye are unleavened. We're to be unleavened, not all puffed up. Let's recognize this. For even Christos, Moshiach, our Fasica, our Passover, our Pesach, is sacrificed for us. Then there's a colon there, so we've got to read on to get that explanation in verse 8. Therefore, Selezi, make I and I, or let us keep the feast. Let us keep this feast. Now, remember, we're still in the seven days. We're in the seven days of unleavened bread, right? And we're recording this in the night, of, I think, of the Wednesday, and we might post up between now and, and Thursday. So if one sees this the Thursday, which, which some call this, uh, uh, what is it, Morty, Morty Thursday, or that's some saying like that not condoning it, but just pointing it out. But um, let's go on. We're in the spirit of the unleavened, unleavened bread. So let's understand this spiritually. We say that I and I is not religion in the romantic sense. You understand? Because we have no white God, no Jesus or Caesar or any of that. You understand? No white bread, no white rice, no white flour. You understand? Um, no white sugar. You understand? And no white Jesus. All right? Don't be colorblind. Recognize the black, right? Our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For even the black Moshia, Christos, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. So this is interesting because this Passover is that first, the 14th. Right, that, that, that fourteenth is the Passover, and then there are those seven days of the unleavened bread. But what does leaven mean in the spirituality? In a religious sense, that means you shouldn't have anything that has leaven in it, that has yeast in it. You see, in the religious sense, in the Old Testament sense, in the Jews who call themselves Jews sense, so they remove all this from their house, but what about from their heart? So you're overstanding this, this divine duality, the two truths right there, right? This is what Tawahido, bringing it together in Christ as one, is all about, right? So it says, not with old leaven. What is the old leaven? Neither with the leaven of malice, all that old expletive deleted, deleted, expletive deleted, 
delete it, delete it. But you have to delete it from your heart and your mind. Because we still got some folks among some Rastafari and some Vinai folks still begrudging and speaking evil of their brother or sister. You know what I'm saying? Let's recognize that. One say, well, they are such and such, but what they're not doing is carrying the cross. You can talk all you talk. Once you carry a cross, if the other is really the one who's in violation, you're sure. You understand? The, the Spirit of God, the Father, will, will, will handle that. You know what I'm saying? Unless you are without our main, uh, without imnet, you know what I'm And that means you're rebellious, and worse yet, you're perpetrating a fraud against the King of Kings and his Christ. You know what I'm saying? So repent, my brothers. Have a change of mind. Neither with the leaven of malice, the puffed upness of malice and wickedness. Now, what is malice? Whatever Jah say is malice. What is wickedness? Whatever Jah say is wickedness. You know what I'm saying? So go study that. From the word, there's, there's countless examples in the word, not countless, but there's many examples, Yovas, and then you can check yourself. If it's beyond your own capacity, trust and pray the Father for more strength, for more light. But we are to keep the feast with the unleavened bread of what? Sincerity, kinnanet, right, being straightforward. They say the truth is an offense, but it's not a sin. And truth Right? And it's not my truth, your truth. No. It is the way, the truth, and the life. So you see we're going, this is a trinity, way, truth, and life, one, two, three. Some folks haven't learned to count to three. You understand the way, the truth, right? And what is that inheritance from the tree of life? It is, it is, it is life, right? It is, it, is, it, is, it is life itself, right? There's much more to this chapter, but let's just, just keep it moving, right? We're going to go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and continue there. This is rightly dividing the word of truth, right? Um, pause it for a moment and write it down so you don't become, you know, disorientated in the reason. Just check that you got what you need to get so you can check out the truth. Don't just believe or accept what I'm saying. Check it out for yourself. Wherefore, whosoever, verse 27, wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this, and drink this cup, the chalice, of Adonai unworthily shall be guilty of the what? The body and the blood of Adonai. So it's, we'll, be, we'll be guilty as those who said his blood be upon us and our children. So it's not just us, but it's not even our children that are receiving, right, of our wrong ways until they come to uh, acknowledgement of the truth, if the Holy Spirit be so willing. Mm-hmm. And there's no guarantee because that's on your head. That's on my head. That's on I and I head. All right? So let's check this out. But make a man, 1 Corinthians 11:28. make a man, a male or female, examine himself. So in this particular time, you shouldn't be spending your time examining the other or your brother or your mother or your sister. Or your, you know, check out yourself. Check out yourself in light, in the light of Yeshua and the light of his word. You understand? So make a man examine himself. And so let him or make him eat of that bread, right? The bread. What is the bread? What is the bread? Man should not live by earthly bread, whether leaven or unleavened, but by every word that proceedeth, proceedeth from the mouth of Ha Elohim, from the mouth of Hashem. All right? So we eat. Right? We eat on that particular bread. We feed on that particular bread. So he says, make him do what? Eat of that bread and drink of that cup and of that life. See, that, 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 that cup, the chalice, right, even the chalice in the new and living way of Rastafari is that spirit and spiritual life. And see, the best way to, to, to do it is his way. Right? It's, it's, a, it's his word, his way, examining oneself. John will take care of the rest. He'll take care of the outer as long as you take care of the inner, take care of what's in your responsibility, what's in I and I's own responsibility. So it's truly I and I in the true one most I, I, Jesus, Jesus, Yeshua, HaMoshiach. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, in a way other than what he says, basically, in a way that's other than what he says, that's unworthy. That's unworthy. You understand? Um, 
And if you study the word unworthy, just study this or unworthy, uh, unworthy, or worthy, and unworthy, unworthily, all those words, just go through a search of each word and check out the verses. You know, you can really have a good meditation upon that, and, and may the Holy Spirit bring you to the truth, right? So he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, what do they do? They eat and they drink damnation to himself. So that's what I mean when we be cursing ourselves. Because the people say, well, I didn't know that was in Torah. I didn't know that was in his word. Well, haven't you heard that ignorance of the law is no excuse? Right? Ignorance of the law is, is of Torah is still no excuse. This is why with the opportunity that we have, each of us, we can look at other people in other generations, but, you know, he giveth more grace. You understand? We don't have that excuse. If we have access, you understand, to the scripture, if we have access, you understand, to our own hearts and minds, let's recognize it. Right? Because he's not discerning, he's saying, the body of the Lord. Right? He's not discerning that the body of the Lord is that tree, right? Even that tree of life. Right? Really literally that tree of lives. Because all of I and I, the sons and the daughters. For this cause, he says, many are weak. It doesn't mean that they're just weak in the outer sense. They could be weak if it's this ease or something, but they're weak in the true walk, in the true way. They they fall and pray to little petty things. You understand? I mean, really petty things. They're weak and they're sickly. You understand? They're not in the, in the sound word, the healthy word. They're speaking out of their own ego and shego, you understand? And, 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 and soul that is, 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 is inverted, like the five points start turned upside down. And many sleep, and many even have gone on to sleep to say sleep is like the, among, among the among the Christian, among I and I, when one so-called, quote, die, they really don't die if they had faith in the King of Kings and his Christ. They went to sleep. But many even at that time slept. He says, for if we would judge ourselves, uh, a powerful verse, verse 31, we should not be judged. If we would check ourselves, we wouldn't wreck ourselves, but if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. For when...